Hello Leo! Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your love reading for February 2021. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We are going to pick you a person. This is all of the court cards in the tarot deck and you got a person right away. You ready? The Queen of Pentacles reversed, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is usually my queen that is out of balance. She's doing too much. She has too much going on, sometimes needing to drop something. This could also signify someone who is having some money issues as well. Let's put that on the side. So I do feel like you are dealing with... Did you see that? That was the sun card that was on the bottom of the deck. Show me message for Leo, please. Maybe this person needs your help. Show me Leo. These are the major arcanas that are in the deck. And we're just going to get, what do we got? The magician reversed. So someone feels like they don't have all of the tools. I just heard failure. They need to do something. What's on the bottom? The star. Hopes, wishes, dreams. I mean, we're ha we have so much Aquarius, so much going on in Aquarius energy that this card just keeps coming up. But someone may feel the lovers is underneath that. So someone may be wishing for a relationship. Hmm. All right. Or having faith in a relationship or healing a relationship from the past show me the astrology message for Leo show me Leo please the magician in reverse can also especially with the Queen of Pentacles could be some type of a lack of confidence show me thank you all right we have The fourth house, which is represented by Cancer Energy, this the coordinating tarot for this is the Four of Cups, but this card is about home, family, your mother, emotions, dreams, being nurturing and caring. I feel like you're helping someone. Family, home, real estate, pregnancy, birth, nurses, good memories and reunions, being passed down to generations, a retreat, something comfortable or the full moon so all of those things could be significant and then we have this stability so you're definitely dealing with some type of an earth sign here the ace of queens is the coordinating tarot card for this and that is an opportunity so i feel like this could be a family member that you need to help or this is an opportunity this is stability organized planning mountains real estate again so that's significant buying and selling reliable responsible dependable could be stubborn queen of pentacles in reverse is someone who could be stubborn um, foundations meeting the right people at the right time owning a business growing food deeds to property money of course what is real also moving slow and being patient and practical all right so let's leave those there i do feel like there's something here about real estate it keeps coming up for everyone um, a lot of people maybe are moving or maybe this person moved away from you or maybe someone needs your help financially because I mean, maybe they're going to lose their home. Maybe they lost their job or something. I don't know. Let's see. This could be you. You could be having some financial difficulty, but I feel like you're dealing with an earth sign. This is also Virgo Gemini. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So you might be in separation from this person right now, or maybe not speaking to them. This could be a family member that you're not speaking to. The, four, the fourth house is significant of the mother. Maybe this is someone's mother. Show me Leo, please. 
You deserve love. You are lovable. All right, so you needed to leave a person because they weren't, you know, showing affection or being caring or... The Queen of Cups, I mean, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse could be materialistic. I don't really feel that, though. I feel like somebody's down on their self or something's not successful or somebody needs your help. Show me... Maybe they're wishing to have a relationship with you, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. All right, so we do have the mother here and we have the parents. So let go of control issues and allow this situation to unfold naturally. All right. So someone is obviously healing something, possibly with a family member. I feel like there's some worry here or the magician is Mercury and it's reversed, which can be trickery, but I don't really see that. I just feel like it's self-doubt or not being confident or give your relationship a chance. Something's definitely healing here with someone that you are in separation from. Let's leave that down there and let me put this up there. All right, let's pull a couple of Kipper cards and see what we get from that. All right, show me additional messages for Leo, please. You may have lived with this person at one time with the roots. Show me. Thank you. See, toil and labor is something that you don't want to do. Something is too much work, too much effort. And I feel like that's why you're in separation from this person, because you felt the need to just let them go, because they were probably exhausting you. Maybe they did trick you in some way. Or with the Queen of Pentacles reversed, maybe they ripped you off in some way. Show me additional messages for Leo, please. Change. Let's get one more. So that is usually my card of moving. I mean, someone is literally loading up the, the car here and moving out. So that could be a possibility. Someone may have moved out, moved on, or someone may be just, maybe this person has changed or you want them to change. Distant horizons, someone moved away here or is planning on moving in the future with the house, the change, and the distant horizons. But releasing an anchor is also letting go of something that's weighing you down. Distant horizons is usually something to me that happens in the future. But the boat represents travel, moving on. Also, privileged lady. Hmm. Also, um, seeing things from a higher perspective as well with that boat flying in the air this could actually even be air travel for someone all right let's keep going let's pull you a couple of the love oracle messages and see what we get from that so introverted is usually not speaking but this is a card of a person who is shy, timid, they don't have a lot to say, they're very quiet, they don't open up easily, promise. So that could be some type of a commitment or this could be a broken promise. You may not be speaking to someone because they broke a promise, affection. Are they promising now to give you affection? Maybe they didn't in the past. What's on the bottom? family. Hmm. This is definitely a family issue. I feel like we have two people here who were just forced to let go of each other because it just wasn't working out. All right, I'm going to pull you, what's under family? There's loyalty. Oh, there's extroverted. Extroverted is someone who's outspoken, very social, always on the move, always on the go, has a lot of friends. Um, 
that could be the reason that you broke up. Maybe one person wasn't expressing feelings or was very quiet or didn't speak much and the other person was outspoken or spoke too much. Uh, if you're just not a match for someone, you're not a match for someone. Show me additional messages for Leo, please. Someone may have gone too far with their speaking like said something that possibly hurt someone's feelings with the cancer energy. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. So you're thinking about something on the bottom of the deck and you have a decision to make. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. So something is picking up speed or it's getting better or we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel okay so hmm all right let's do an angel answers for you i feel like something has the potential to be healed here possibly with some type of an apology with an earth sign that you're in separation from and not speaking to and we have with the star card and the healing here but somebody needs to let go of control and just let something happen here what are the answers sorry to leo's questions please you can start focusing on a question if you would like to ask one you do not have to be a leo to play but you also do not have to play if you don't want to when i'm done getting the third card face down angels please thank you <laughs> they always put it face up um you can pick a number, pick one, two, or three, and that will be the answer to the question that you're seeking. On the bottom of the deck, we do have improving health. So someone could be really depressed or upset or sad about what is going on here, and maybe you're going to feel better uh, once this situation is fixed with this person. But now you can pick one, two, or three. It's important that you only pick one number, that you don't change your mind. And here are your answers, Leo. Romance. All right. So that's love. Compromise. We're going to work this out. Brings big, happy changes. Well, that's self-explanatory. If you compromise with this person and work it out, I feel like, I guess there needs to be a conversation here about what the problem is with the toil and labor. Like, why is this relationship too much work, too much effort? Is someone not contributing or not doing their part? Um, but I do feel like if there is compromise, there will be big happy changes in this relationship. With that said, I am going to leave that there, Leo. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation, and I will see you soon.